Hey, welcome to Long Distance Sisters. I'm Tori. I'm McKenna. And I'm Serena. Come chat with us while we're far apart. Okay, let's get started. What are you munching on? What is that? Flips. Did you not see the bag of flips? Kevin's free <laughs> snack. Oh, that was his free snack. Oh. He got a whole bag. Ooh. Those are kind of like big for a bedding machine. I know, right? That's kind of like a big bag for a bedding machine. I mean, hey. Sounds good. Mm. All right, Vicky. Me? Yeah, you. Mm-hmm. Okay, she's chewing. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Can someone begin, okay. please? Sorry, you are about to put more in your mouth. <laughs> Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Three Sisters, or wait, no, <laughs> Long Distance Sisters podcast. It's been a minute, but we're here. I mean, it has been a minute for you guys, just us. Yeah. But we're back. Yeah, we took a break, so we, especially Tori, would have time to prepare for today would uh, I don't know, words for her wedding which we're talking about today there you go woo woo if Kevin wants to join he can meh eh. <laughs> yeah I got married woohoo it's weird <laughs> it is weird it's like oh I have a married sister now <laughs> oh, that's weird. No, <laughs> no. If anything, it's just like it just was over so fast for all mm-hmm. that planning that you did. Yeah. <laughs> so fast. So fast. Well, let's just get in. Oh, so I have my Tori's wedding uh notes up. So I want to see what I wrote. <laughs> Phil's <laughs> speech with Taylor Swift and Gilmore Girls quotes. No Taylor Swift quotes, but it did have some Gilmore Girls ones. Oh, ever order everyone their Starbucks orders on the day of the wedding. But then we there was a coffee cart at the wedding, and so I was like, I don't need to be like that maid of honor, you know. <laughs> like I was like gonna like surprise everyone and be like, I got this for you, this for you. Ah! <laughs> and really it was our mom that did that <laughs> what well she didn't get starbucks but she got snacks and Ugh. food oh. And oh my god all breakfast this. and espresso pods mm-hmm. i literally only gave her a list that had like bagels and cream cheese and peanut butter <laughs> and bananas <laughs> and she showed up with a hundred times more than that bins oh and gosh. bins full that mm-hmm. no one really touched. <laughs> no one really touched the bins. No. Mm-mm. Like I, I like gave people chips when they were waiting for food, but it was only like six. So like I don't think anyone was starving. And they had the charcuterie board still. They are fine. Anyway, what were your favorite parts? The parts that stand out to you the most? Are you asking me? obviously okay i mean i kind of can say her well the ceremony went very well no it didn't (laughs) i mean it did though but it like the way like we had win but well the the funny things that happened during the ceremony just made it like more perfect i think yeah like less tension in the air yes (laughs) yes yes well and then People kept being like, oh, it's a shotgun wedding. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah, so someone, like, not anyone associated with the venue, but someone in the local area was, like, having target practice (laughs) during the ceremony. (laughs) So we just had intermittent shotguns. But you know what? They They always came when someone was like pausing or like between mm-hmm. people speaking yes they were well timed <laughs> as if they could like hear it and were like now yeah <laughs> it's Literally. like you can't wait it's a short ceremony yeah 
I'm what? sure they had no idea. Um, That's so weird. And then we had some wind, and so it was blowing, like, my little drape thing around. Like, we had an arch, kind of, like, drapery, creating an arch hey, in yeah. the tree behind us. So that was kind of blowing around, but our best man stepped up and held it in place. My laptop's going to die. Oh, no. I'm like, oh, no. And you had, like, a group of people standing around when you were trying to light the unity candle. Yeah, the wind was making it difficult to light our unity candle. But it did light, but we had to have some um, of the groomsmen come up and block the wind. <laughs> so people didn't really get to see it. Only us. But <laughs> and your best man burned himself. Yeah, my man of honor. Gun, yeah. Gun. Oh, yeah, man of honor. Well, well, he was okay. thing, but yeah. He said it didn't really yeah. hurt, like, too much. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I mean overall, though the ceremony went went fine. Yeah. Did you ever find the where the unity candle candle? Yes, was? Cassie found the unity candle. Excellent. Was there. <laughs> she, and then I asked her if she found like the bowl and the tapers, assuming they would be with it, and she said no. But I'm assuming they're there, and she just didn't see them. So. Mm. Eventually, I'll go get that. No, you can have her send it to you. That's kind of far. And the yeah, traffic is awful. They're the ones it. that packed it up. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Packed up your candle. We'll see. Mom, uh, if mom comes to Disney in a few weeks because Sarah and Mike are coming, then she can stop on her way. Oh, yeah. Um, but anyway. So, yeah. The ceremony, though, I think overall went well. Because, like, you don't really ever practice it. Like, so <laughs> it went well. And um, and I think, like, I mean, everyone kept saying that everyone was crying. So that's a good sign <laughs> of a good ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I thought the cell phone thing you guys did at the beginning was very smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, too. We, we we're like you efficient announce that we wanted an unplugged ceremony, and then he said like I'll give you thirty seconds to take a photo and then put your phone away, and mm -hmm. then he stepped out of the way so people could take a photo of us. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I didn't really see too many people actually taking photos. There definitely were. I, yeah, I did. Uh, I haven't so many seen people... any photos from that moment. <laughs> so. <laughs> But so many people know that, like, th they will get the photos at some point. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the whole point. But the yes. people who don't know are, like, the grandmas. And they're just like, yes. it goes right they up. want it head. now. One yeah. on their phone. Now. It's also on their Facebook. <laughs> yeah. For anyone else. It was all right. It was all right. And everyone listened to the announcement. Mm -hmm. Although now I'm kind of, like, I regret not asking someone like Carly or something to film on their phone really? mm. just because like I didn't even get to I didn't get to watch you guys like walk in or anything like but anyway. um anyway. what I missed was Nate's little bit like standing in the line and then being like oh I'm supposed to be up there yeah I don't think we really <laughs> rehearsed who was gonna do that <laughs> it's okay it kind of people did it so it was fine yeah um I think like Kevin maybe like kind of turned around and was like <laughs> <laughs> let's go <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah so that the ceremony was memorable and then the sister dance I surprised you guys with super memorable <laughs> it was so good Karina shaking her head because she was all of our, so all of our listeners <laughs> All of our listeners no, by sense. now know that we love Gilmore Girls, and so I surprised McKenna and Serena by having the DJ play the theme song to Gilmore Girls, Where You Lead, I Will Follow, and the three of Shut us danced up. and had a moment, and we all sobbed through the entirety <laughs> of the song. But, like, why? <laughs> I've seen only, like, one picture of it, and, like, all, like I think McKenna's face is the only face visible, and she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and just red but 
like why her face was so why? red too. <laughs> she like it was like, so why does good, that happen? It was so good. Why does that um, happen? <laughs> <laughs> and then just like why? dancing all night with everyone mm-hmm. was so fun. And, oh, yeah, nice. No mm-hmm. break. I yeah, took breaks. I took no breaks. <laughs> Wow. I, I, took I wish it had been like two hours more of dancing. <laughs> yeah, I, we all took yeah. a break for cake. <laughs> yeah, I guess we had yeah. cake. But that was like Tori sure. barely. Tori like did the through the food and Kevin's I mouth only, and went back to yeah. the dance floor. That was my <laughs> only bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, how about you guys? Uh, if it's different from what I said. Yeah. I mean the sister dance course oh and your toast all the toasts really but especially you guys oh my god they came out wearing my prom dress <laughs> well my yeah. prom dress and my sweet 16 dress yes yes and they had, had a whole two. little bit we had a bit <laughs> <laughs> it's it fun it's fun to do the bit yes <laughs> now everyone knows that the yeah, butler's and- just wild <laughs> yeah. that we keep dresses for like 15 years <laughs> they, yes yeah they were literally like my parents would never <laughs> <laughs> they're like is your prom dressed at your mom's house and i was like yeah <laughs> haven't worn it since but yeah it's there you're not as far out from high school as most of them either. no but like i was like we all kept ours yeah, and we have like I that was normal outfits and everything. Um, we have but, like all the dresses. We so Serena and I we did it like as a surprise. So like we had sheets covering it, covering <laughs> the dresses, and they were like short dresses, so they were easier to hide. But we had multiple people come up to us and tell us they thought we were naked under them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like or why like wearing a bathing would we suit? do that? I don't know. Why would you do that? That's disgusting. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, we couldn't no, see your like straps either. We just saw chest. Oh yeah. <laughs> McKenna had straps. Yeah, but I just couldn't them. see them. I guess. Oh, I guess. <laughs> we finished it with like, "We love you, you idiots! Super cool part people, bid you super cool and do." <laughs> it's so hard to say that. But I did it. But you did it. <laughs> you said it pretty clearly. Uh, and we said oh, it in thanks. unison. Yeah, you did. You guys did good. Thanks. Yeah. Well, the sister dance. Um, the instrumental like Disney music before the ceremony, like when we were out there taking pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you're like walking in or down the grass whatever like I was genuinely crying and then a twig hit my nose (laughs) and like Anna Jordan and Megan are all like McKenna are you okay (laughs) like that thing was aimed right for you (laughs) so I was like laugh crying on top of like my actual crying for Tori (laughs) Jordan was like, I heard it. <laughs> they were walking together. and so, so. <laughs> No, it happened when we were standing in line. Oh, really? When you were standing in line? Yeah, when Tori, was, I was, like, right Tori was walking down. Yeah, but oh. you had Maddie and Anna between us. Like oh, when you were I already thought... at the front. Yeah, about I when thought... Tori hit the fence, it hit me. I thought it was when you and Jordan were walking to line up. Mm -mm. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) It's okay. Most people were looking back at Tori. So (laughs) they got honed in my laughter. (laughs) And mom, me and mom walking in, mom was like, oh, McKenna's crying. (laughs) <laughs> like <laughs> yes and no <laughs> I heard it hit her <laughs> um, yeah that'll be a story we'll tell for generations 
Yeah. And the dancing all night. That's the mm-hmm. only wedding with a lot of dancing I've been to in my adult life. So. Yeah. That's the best part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just like, wish I had more of it. People are sweating on the dance floor and then they're like pizza and everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> it just felt like the temperature, the temperature was like perfect for mm-hmm. it was. dancing. So, like it yeah. like it could be a little chilly if you were sitting still but if you were moving like it was like perfect yeah yeah like it wasn't even too sweaty or anything it was just like mm-hmm. good like 72 whatever mm-hmm. like I wasn't ever like oh you know like mm-hmm. stopping mm-hmm. from dancing it was like perfect <sighs> Serena any other moments that we didn't mention that you liked <gasps> That hasn't already been mentioned. Um, I mean, I liked your dance with dad because it was a Taylor Swift song. And I was like, oh. yeah, the DJ like cut it right before the the dad line, though. And I was like, oh, oh, like when your dad come home from work. Yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's OK. Dad was making a weird face, so <laughs> he was. <laughs> was it like his? No, like the whole time he looked like this. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's smiling for a photo. Like his eyes were not open. <laughs> like, he couldn't bear to look at hit you. He's a little girl. <laughs> That's what he looked like. Uh-huh. <laughs> the proximity, I don't know. His eyes are like upward. <laughs> and his smile. I can, I can so see that face. <laughs> um but it's oh fine gosh. dad you were fine you were great yes. <laughs> no one no one saw it except tori <laughs> i mean i just there was like wedding day drama and then it got handled real well and which i thought that was like kind of like fun and exciting like an adrenaline rush <laughs> oh <laughs> oh because i didn't have to you do were anything. involved yeah, I have to say <laughs> and it wasn't uh, between people; it was external. But there wasn't like vendor yeah. beef <laughs> between different bridesmaids or whatever. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I also we'll get into that, I guess, because that's probably a least favorite part. Um, but <laughs> I also just liked in the morning, like when everyone was getting ready and we were, people were like decorating. Like, I was doing table flower arrangements while the people were doing all the other big decorations. And it was just fun because, like, I was, like, hair fully done, but in my PJs, like, walking around this venue doing stuff. And, like, everyone was in different states of getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, like, doing stuff. So, yeah, I thought that was fun. Yeah. Anything just else? Fun. Um. Not that I can think of at the moment. Well, I I like how Aria, the the <laughs> cutie dog, was the flower girl. And she did so good for pictures. Mm-hmm. And she behaved so well. And then Dad asking for ACDC. Oh and my God, the yeah. DJ playing Thunderstruck. And he's like, oh, yeah, a great song. And everyone's getting in the circle. And he's like, oh, they're cheering me on. I'm doing some, I must be doing a great air guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had no idea there was a drinking game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just so you know, if you're listening, there is a drinking game for Thunderstruck where you waterfall until they say thunderstruck again or thunder or whatever and then the next I, person yeah. falls and it goes around a circle <laughs> and that was happening <laughs> and i think you did not notice well eventually no, he like just looked around so the air guitar which is fine <laughs> no no he looked around and saw and then so two people took him in- to the side and explained it <laughs> oh really no i because dad is in missoula right now so um, I was talking to him about it. I was like, did you know? And he's like, no idea. Now I do. Like he, someone had told him, yeah, in between, or he figured it out, or I don't know. But like, yeah, it's, that was just so funny. Like everyone was like, <laughs> like when they were lining up in the circle, they were like, 
Bill, like, what? I can't believe you picked this song. Like, you did this to <laughs> us. He doesn't even have a drink. And it was like, I guess, one of one of the groomsmen's wives. That's like her favorite drinking game or something. Oh, so that's it, why they all like jumped right into it. I think was it like Maddie running to and from the bar with Vizzy's when people were running out of their drinks? Oh Probably. yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Making sure the game goes smoothly. Someone was. It might have been Maddie. That seems think, like a very Maddie thing to do. <laughs> I think it was. Oh, goodness. Overall, though, even with all the, like, the drama with our vendor for food and the rain and the wind, I think everything went very well. Like, everything worked out. So, overall, it was a good day. Just too short. Too fast. Yeah. I'm like, in hindsight, I'm like, should we have had the ceremony like, earlier? Like, no, I but think also we were rushing to get ready anyway. So, yeah, it was perfect time wise because that left plenty of time for dancing and then time for the after party. Not plenty of time for dancing. Four hours. <laughs> it wasn't four hours. We like, they called it the. They, like, called us out to start the reception at, like, 5.30. And we danced, and then you did first dances, and then it was toast, and then dancing till 10. But we had to eat in there and stuff. People were eating on the dance floor. You took your, like, one bite of food on the dance floor. <laughs> well, no, you came and sat- I was being bustled. Yeah, you came and sat down, and then you are like, eh, I'm gonna go back to dancing. <laughs> well, that's right. It wasn't on the dance agree. floor. I was making food for the other, heating up food for the other vegans in the bridal suite. That's right. Oh. When Megan came in with your food and yeah. the <laughs> big thing of ranch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she brought like the whole container of ranch, like this big. And she's like, Do you need this? <laughs> I was like, You can pour some out. <laughs> but i i just loved how like attentive all of your friends were too Mm -hmm. like everyone just was like what can i do for you what can i do (laughs) like like you know really wanted to like make you feel special so that was cool because there are definitely people and they know that i i don't speak up so Mm -hmm. they were aware of that fact (laughs) yes but and like i didn't tell them what i wanted to eat I think someone someone told them to bring me the told Megan to bring the ranch, probably Maddie. <laughs> the ranch. <laughs> or like so. was it Rochelle who went and got you coffee? Or someone went and got you coffee. Oh. Yeah. Rochelle got me a coffee. Hot or ice. Hot and then or later ice. Beth got me a coffee too, I think. I think it was Beth. Yeah, but was it like was- one of them standing in line and they didn't know what the, whether to get you hot or ice and someone in the line shot iced. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Rochelle was like, the whole line just went iced. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I still They're have not like, figured no. out who it was. I no, she said multiple people. Yeah, that's what I iced. can't figure out who it was. Um, unless, like, I maybe had because I, like, yelled my drink order to her. Mm. Like, when oh, she was at the line so maybe i said iced and she just didn't hear me mm-hmm. and so the other per- people heard me say iced yeah but <laughs> still it's so funny or they just knew me i don't know <laughs> i have no idea what i said so <laughs> <laughs> and then later oh. i had just a shot of espresso <laughs> Ooh, wow. i wish i, I had gotten a second i think coffee. it was beth who brought me that I only got one coffee. I'm like, oh, so disappointed in myself. <laughs> Beth also, like, hand delivered our coffees to us while we were taking pictures. She brought them out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excellent. She was like, I grabbed yeah. this one. I hope it was yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the coffee cart, I think a lot of people enjoyed. That rolled. Yeah. Highly recommend an espresso card mm-hmm. for your wedding. Mm-hmm. Where we had it for pre ceremony through cocktail hour, and mm-hmm. I saw a lot I of people it was... still have their little coffee cups, and they could hold their little coffee cup during the ceremony if they got yeah. it before. Yeah, yeah, that's 
it's like I wish it was there all day. I would have used so much more. Like it could have left at 5 30 still or something. But like yeah. yeah. Or like it could have left. Yeah. I like I did consider like something. maybe we should have taken everyone's like coffee order and just handed it to them when they got there so they could just make it and have them ready for us. But eh. I forgot to no. do that. Like, I mean, just bridal party. Like, not mm. not like all the guests, but just us. I think it would have been fun if it was, like, there. Not, like, first thing in the morning, because then that's, like, too long. And it, he would probably just be chilling with nothing to do for a while. But, like, got there later in the morning and then left, like, right before the ceremony. Mm. Like, people could grab their coffee for the ceremony and the chill. So that way cocktail, cocktail hour was, like, specifically, like, okay, now it's alcohol. Yeah. Well, yeah. at least cocktail. I mean, with I the mean, car being there, to like, up the line a little. Like a lot mm-hmm. of people don't drink, so. Yes, then that's I true. I mean, get yeah, a, a tea or something during cocktail mm-hmm. hour as well. True, true. Plus, it probably slowed down the line a little bit for the bartender. Yeah, which I heard that... she was like struggling a little bit in the beginning to catch up. Oh, the her. the line was long, and I don't understand why because I thought. I mean, I guess she was, like, hand-muddling all of the drinks, which is great, but I thought, like, I thought there was well, stuff there Well, people were prep. saying, like, usually, yeah, they would, like, kind of batch-muddle everything so they could just kind of scoop them in, mm-hmm. and she didn't do that. But she didn't get well, there early enough because I guess the company told her it was only beer and wine, which I don't know why, because mm-hmm. we had specific emails. I thought it was beer, wine, and signature drinks. Mm-hmm. But, so she didn't get there early okay. because she didn't think she needed to. Needed to, yeah. But it all worked out. Everyone yeah. had drinks. She caught mm-hmm. up eventually, and it was okay. I mean, it's going to be a line no matter what. Like, everyone rushes right to the bar, getting a cocktail mm-hmm. hour, and there's only one bartender. So. Yeah, true. And it's like... <laughs> and everyone wants you're... the signature drink first, I feel like, you know? Yeah. Like, and then they'll switch to beer or whatever, but everyone wants to start with, like, a fancy cocktail. <laughs> yeah, that's true. See if they want to keep wanting it or not. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, and but people I'm were just, they would have just, yeah. they would have just stood around and talked anyway, so they were yeah. just standing in the line talking. Exactly. It was fine. Plus, like, at least, you know, we did our photos and stuff first, so... Mm-hmm. She had some time before, like, we were there, and, or mm-hmm. you guys were there, and stuff. So. Uh, we didn't get to do the sunglasses photo. I know. I know. So disappointed. It's okay. My group is iconic, though. <laughs> I know. But we also we'll never... I have recreated the exact photo, because they're, like, lifting mom up, and I'm not about to have them do that. Oh, <laughs> well, we didn't have to do that. We could have just stood around, like, yeah. it would be that. I know. I know. Uh, I felt like I, I felt really that. rushed doing all of our photos. Mm-hmm. Well, like, it started raining after. I mean, oh, but even yes. still, it was just like felt like a lot. I don't know. It it does it does feel like a lot, but I think it's also like trying to not waste all of your time because you want to enjoy the actual wedding. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Quick, quick, quick. But then that was another one of your least favorite parts that you were talking to me about where it was like, you didn't think you would have to restate what you wanted previously. And that was something that you had a problem with, with the person who's doing your hair or like, or the, or the photographer, you wrote a whole list of like specific shots you wanted the photographer to do. And the photographer did not bring the list or do everything in the list. And that's like, that's not something you should have to advocate for yourself on on your wedding day. They should know that you communicated this with them. You wrote a whole list. That's their fault for not doing that. Maybe a wedding do is having a copy of that list yourself and maybe a designated person just make yeah. sure you get all the shit. I had a copy. Tori had a copy. Where was it? And it was in the bridal suite. Mm. I had it. 
and mm. it just didn't get I mean part of it was that we were rushed kind of going into the ceremony so we didn't have time to really like you know organize ourselves I think Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah trying to find anything in the bridal suite was a mess oh my god <laughs> i tried mess. so hard to keep it like so organized it was very organized but it and... was only organized for you like i think you could <laughs> find things fast but yeah. i like i would go in there and i'd be like the yeah. clear bin by the door <laughs> and i'd be like oh my god there's well, part of the problem bins. was because mother brought too much crap Mm-hmm. And that was cluttering up our freaking space. That's and true. then, like, people who were not staying in there had mm-hmm. all their stuff in there, too. Wait, well, I was so, sorry. like, when mm-hmm. I heard... No, you were staying in there. Oh, that's true. You're fine. <laughs> well, I, but, like, yeah, but, like, even, the like, in the morning, when Megan mm-hmm. was, like, what's, like, a main thing we can focus on? And you were, like, no clutter. So I was literally taking all my stuff <laughs> to, like, our little cottage and, like, going back and forth. Yeah, I appreciate it. that. <laughs> I appreciate it. And it wasn't the bathroom because, I mean, that was an isolated area. But mm-hmm. just, like, I don't know. There kept being stuff, like, in my bedroom like a bunch of people getting ready stuff and I was like keep this room clear <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah but uh, yeah I know we were limited on space in general so it mm-hmm. all worked out fine and we weren't like rushing around to clean up for photos or anything but mm-hmm. it just like in terms of like I had all this stuff like I was prepared for everything but then in the mm-hmm. moments where we needed some of these things we just like couldn't get to them or like Mm -hmm. it wasn't worth taking the time to get the get to them yeah because i had that whole emergency kit packed full of stuff and like barely any of it got used Mm -hmm. and like i don't know yeah we just needed like an extra day there to get organized yeah (laughs) Yeah. like i i know i wish i would have like asked to get there earlier on thursday but then at the same time we didn't really have time to go earlier because we were doing the flowers at we home. did not have any time like we w- were go 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 that yeah. whole day so it was like which i appreciate every person in the wedding party for helping because it was a very diy wedding it was not a wedding where we all just showed up and everything got done and we just mm-hmm. had to make sure it got done like we were actually doing stuff from thursday morning we picked up the flowers we prepped all the flowers ourselves we did all the florals ourselves i had all these crafts I, you know all the decoration was mm-hmm. like my vision whether it was stuff i was bringing or i was pulling from mm-hmm. the stock of the venue and so like the, everything happening relied on the wedding party helping out whether that was mm-hmm. carrying boxes around for me or moving furniture or decorating or doing florals like and I was very appreciative that everyone was like not making me do it on the day even though I mm-hmm. would have and I was planning to I was expecting to be more involved <laughs> which is no. fine it worked out totally fine like you guys yeah. had it under control mm-hmm. um, but like you know it was a big ask to have you guys basically like put the wedding on for me. <laughs> um, but I did, I did try to do a lot of work beforehand so that it was organized oh. and very straightforward how to do it. And I think we pulled that off. So yeah, it just required a lot of effort. Yeah. Like what well, I- party couldn't just show up. Yeah. And, and I, get their I hair think done. it, I think it helped that the wedding party knew that this was the case. Like, we all came prepared to work. Yeah. And even Jordan like, got and, up early. Uh, <laughs> and that does not happen. <laughs> he got there at, like, five minutes before nine. Started making a bagel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and to be honest, you guys probably all could have done less. <laughs> no, I mean, you what? could all. But I think you guys could have delegated more to some of the guys. <laughs> because I, I, I do yeah. feel like we were all rushing to get ready at the end. And I wish that had been avoided. <laughs> I mean, I but, I don't think we were, like, rushing. It wasn't much. too bad, but it just... I wish we had had a little more kind of, like, downtime together. Yeah, to hang. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We had that I after. mean, 
I mean, yeah, but the morning of is yeah a big deal. At one point, it was super windy, and we had like flower vases on tables, and Maddie and Jordan were just like, "We're just gonna hold these here." <laughs> <laughs> so they just stood there, oh my for, like God. maybe a half an hour. <laughs> oh like put them on the ground or something. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put them out later. <laughs> Oh goodness. And they were like very panicked. They were like, we can't like yeah. leave. <laughs> and I also Who's think gonna... like I feel like we started really early with decorating, mm-hmm. which was fine. But I feel like if you had waited longer, um mm-hmm. Cassie could have helped more too mm-hmm. once she was available. Oh, I see. But like I, I mean... feel like everything was pretty much done by the time Cassie came around. Whereas we probably could have just been hanging out for a lot of that time. But I mean, we didn't know. We were like, we didn't know how long everything would take. That's a good thing, yeah. To do, yeah. Yeah. So. And for anyone who doesn't know, Cassie was is like the owner of the our, venue. Yeah, the venue owner, coordinator. All of it. She has a big help on the day, too. So for future reference, at your wedding, delegate. <laughs> Do. And even delegate. have your bridesmaids delegate. <laughs> they could have come up and asked to help. I heard that they did. <laughs> oh, I mean, I never experienced that. I never did. And so they just like sat around all morning until the benches needed to. Yeah, they had a great day. <laughs> they had a great chill morning. They could have helped. Kevin knew about all the decor and the design. I. They should have just come over. I know. I mean, at one point, it's like too many cooks in the kitchen. So, like, we were just like making flower arrangements and arranging the tables, and that's like what the morning was to me. It, I don't know what else was happening. Seemed to take forever. The flower arrangements took forever, and there are four of us doing it. Yeah, but Cassie could have definitely helped with that mm. more, probably, mm. but. It was mostly done, I feel like, by the time she was done with the other rehearsal and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was another rehearsal there. I wonder if we were more fun. <laughs> I bet we were. I bet we were. <laughs> so. I bet we had a cooler wedding. <laughs> well, what are some other things that you wish you had done and were glad you did? I'm glad that I organized all the decor. I had like a box for each table with all the stuff that that table needed and like Mm -hmm. pictures of what the setup should be and like lists of what should be included in different kind of setups. Although the one thing that got that did get missed was the labels for the cake flavors. (laughs) To not go oh, really? So that's like a very minor thing. Well, but the, I just found the... them in a pack in the, in the pack in a box. I was like, well, these were. <laughs> <laughs> well, the like people medium... figured it out. <laughs> yeah, the medium sized ones were labeled. They were labeled. Yeah, it was the really small ones and the big one that was not. Yeah, I mean uh, the big you, one. You I wasn't really gonna have people eat. I mean, it was fine if they did, but mm-hmm. like, I was kind of gonna push it to the back but mm-hmm. and i think most of it did get left for us too. yeah you also Which made a great point. point you also made a great point because tori's cake was um nothing but cakes um which is a, a like chain cake place and i was like oh you need to like save a piece of your cake and freeze it and she was like well i can just go to the store and buy the same one get a fresh in one. a year <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so smart. You're right. Yeah. Like, it's not the same cake, but it is the same yeah. cake. Especially and because honestly, so many people say they am... hate eating the frozen cake. I'm, yeah. yeah, exactly. Everyone says it tastes gross. And, like, I'm so glad that I just got nothing but cakes and not mm-hmm. paid a big number for a random wedding cake. Like, mm-hmm. because what are you paying for? Mm-hmm. Like, the taste? Nothing but cake cakes taste great they're always moist they're consistent they're delicious okay oh so moist moist. oh my god now we've said moist a lot but yeah i'm (laughs) Um, I'm scared they weren't because it's like who knows if who knows if another cake would be as good even 
sure it might be prettier but like just throw some flowers in the middle of the bunt bunt cake thing Mm -hmm. yeah and like decorate the table up and it will be fine and they have options they even have an option you can order a tiered bunt cake like they'll put the smaller ones up on top of it you can order that from them i did not i was like that's tacky for not the vibe I'm going for. It's not tacky. It's cute, but not the vibe <laughs> I'm going for. I was like, I want that for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, like, why spend all this money hmm. on freaking, like, random cake? Yeah. That might not even taste as good. Probably doesn't. No. Because it's old. If, if you're getting, like, a nice wedding cake, it's multiple days they made old. it like yeah they made it days ago so they could decorate it the day before yeah and it's been in a fridge just drying out yeah mm. i will say though my friend amanda who i went to her wedding Ooh. last spring she had the it was like a flourless chocolate cake right serena came with me she's my plus one something i well, it was because she's vegan, vegan flour so it was like a vegan flourless like chocolate cake and that was probably the best cake i had at a wedding and it came with a chocolate covered strawberry which i was like yeah incredible incredible i just wish i could have had more but again that's a unique cake option not traditional Mm -hmm. flower wedding cake so yeah yeah so pro tip just get freaking nothing but cakes (laughs) and then everyone can get the flavor they want I got all assortment of flavors. I got mm-hmm. the little tiny one, like cupcake size. I got the slightly bigger ones that people could share or take it home with them. And a lot of them got taken home. All of them did. Mm-hmm. I didn't have any left. I only had my. The- we got a bigger cake. That was the one we cut, like a was like a eight inch or something. And that's all I ended up taking home because I could easily send the few cupcakes that were left with people. And the few bigger ones that were left, sent them off. Mm-hmm. It was great. The only flavor that was left was carrot. Someone took it, but those Mom, were the last Mom. ones. <laughs> so pro tip, don't buy a carrot. I was like, I thought I'm the only person that doesn't like carrot cake. I was like, people seem to love carrot cake. I'll order some carrot. <laughs> and no one got I maybe I, I like carrot cake. I just, maybe people didn't know. Because they were like, that is a questionable looking cake. It was the labeled ones, though. Yeah. Oh, really? I mean, with a white chocolate raspberry right next to it, it's like, are you really going to grab carrot? Well, (laughs) I mean, I would. Well, took the lemon ones. Those are gone. You can get chocolate and vanilla flavored stuff all the time. Mm. I'm just mad I didn't get to try each flavor. Yeah, the white chocolate raspberry. (laughs) What? You wanted to try every flavor? I wanted to try every flavor. (laughs) There were a lot. I did not get to. And the, I wanted to do a taste test. <laughs> and the Sorry. vegan cakes from Whole Foods. Oh. Mm, they were good. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Because there were three vegans in attendance. Yeah. So, so we all got were... our own little cakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. It was like there were two chocolates and a vanilla. And I was like, oh, but what if they both want chocolate? And I was like, wait, it's my sister's wedding. I get chocolate. <laughs> if I want chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I probably could have gotten all chocolate, but I was like, and they, they could share. They're married, their wedding, but it's like, yeah, they were married, so like whatever. Yeah, <laughs> they could, they could share. It. They could split both of them, <laughs> have a little of each. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, it worked out very well. I'm glad. Yeah, I sent Maddie to Whole Foods on Thursday morning. I was like, vegan cake, Maddie. Vegan cake. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. And I was like, if they don't have the vegan cake, get the vegan chocolate chip cookies. They're delicious. <laughs> from Just the bakery Whole Foods shout out they're better than the regular ones oh, the wow. vegan ones from the bakery at Whole Foods mm-hmm. like the ones they make like in house are mm-hmm. better than the not vegan mm-hmm. chocolate chip cookies Yeah. Mm-hmm. well now that I Whenever I do bake something, I use a banana instead of egg, just because I like baked with egg a few weeks ago and I could like taste egg and so then I swapped to banana and the banana just comes out moister too Mm -hmm. yeah I did like a like cookie mix last year with banana since I didn't have like any other good substitute on hand and sometimes when I bake with flax 
it like which is usual egg substitute for vegans it, i can taste it tastes eggy mm. and i'm like mm. <laughs> yeah maybe we should talk about some stuff brought up in am i the a-hole weddings edition that we did in the fall so one thing tori mentioned she wanted no kids wedding with the exception of like Kevin's nieces, who were junior bridesmaids and walking. Aria, the flower girl, dog. That's a dog. That is not yeah. a child. <laughs> but, she was the most well, well-behaved. No, I'm saying Scarlett and Sophia. Not so much. Oh, Sophia, yeah. But more Scarlett. Because Scarlett was the youngest one. And Tori, how did you feel about that? Do you think? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I ended up changing it, like, way back then on the site to say, like, 13 and up only. Mm. So no kids 13 and no kids under 13, except Scarlett, um, because she is close family and immediate family, essentially. Yeah. And she literally like all of her family was going to, all of her family yeah. was going to be there. So it's like she had to come. <laughs> exactly. That too. But she's like actually close, you know, everyone else would have been like the kids of friends that are, we've never met, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm glad that we did that because then they got to actually party. Like most of Kevin's groomsmen like have kids. And so if they had had their kids, they like would have had to make sure they get to bed and they maybe wouldn't have been able to camp with us and they wouldn't have like been as much fun at the after party or been as drunk as they were. And Mm -hmm. like a lot of the fun stuff probably wouldn't have happened, at least in the way it did. Kevin probably would not have been lifted in the air. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. that's another great moment. <laughs> you know, just things like that had they, you know, had their kids in tow. And it really wasn't that many people who were affected by it. It was just mm-hmm. a small handful. Um, there were a few like other family members of Kevin's that would have been affected by it, but they just didn't come anyway. And it was not the kids' mm-hmm. issue, they told us um so because we were like i mean if it's a matter of you not coming at all we just bring your kids but you know but that was not the issue so i'm glad that we did that because it was a lot of fun and i don't think it would have been that way had they had to bring or had they brought their kids Mm -hmm. um but 13 and up they were fine like most of them oh, yeah. just kind of did their own thing and joined the dance floor when they wanted to. And that was fine. Mm-hmm. No big deal. And they enjoyed themselves. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And like, what, yeah. like Sophia and Scarlett, the junior bridesmaids or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, like they hung out with us all morning and everything. They got there early and like we're mm-hmm. hanging out. Um, yeah. And like, you know, we were trying to, trying to make them feel special and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was fun. Like, mom yeah. did Scarlett's hair and makeup. Mm-hmm. Oh, Scarlett got the Dyson Airwrap experience. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, hey. I know. Mom brought hot rollers to use in her oh, hair. She and then she's like, I'll just do the Dyson. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, what? she probably didn't practice the hot rollers. So she was probably just like, I'll just do what I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she did hot rollers for years, I'm sure, or something. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing mentioned in that AITA episode was getting Chipotle for catering. <laughs> All right, this that's is the last thing. Regretted- that's a no. wedding joke. <laughs> well, I would just say, if you're going to order Chipotle... Call the store a lot and confirm with the store, not with Chipotle catering customer service. Um, and but if you actually call the go store, to the store confirm. and talk to the yeah. manager and Whoa. be like, just so you are aware, this order will be coming in, blah, blah, blah. Because I don't think the store actually gets the order like until 24 hours out, probably. And if it's, like, a smaller store or a less busy store, like, they might just not have the supplies or not have, like, the freezer space for the extra food. And I don't know. Where, I mean, I look at it as, like, whether you're supplying that food to 60 people in your store or 60 people at a wedding, 
I don't know why it matters. You could just turn people at your store away because you made a big chunk of money off a wedding. But whatever. And, <laughs> and when you call the day before, like I did, to ask them to not like mm-hmm. include forks with the order because we had like compostable or whatever forks to use. Make sure you speak with the manager and not just someone at the store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like, but like, even the person at the store, they should have like actually pulled up the order and like added yeah. a note or like called back the number and been like, um, we don't have that order. Yeah. And even like, I had called earlier in the week to make sure the payment was straightened out. And they were like, well, it doesn't process for 24 to 40 hours anyway. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, and. Uh, I don't think it was the payment, really, that was the issue. I think it was just the store could not handle it. Yeah, because we even said day of, they couldn't handle it. No yeah. other stores within a 40 Like, the fact that, yeah, they couldn't pull together food for 60 people. Like, 60 is not that big a number. They probably feed that many in an hour at their store. Like, it's not that huge a number. It's not like a 300-person wedding. Like, mm-hmm. I think that would have been relatively simple to pull together. Yeah. It's like I mean, a couple of trays of chicken. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it, it depends on like what their policy is about priorities and everything. Like, is it more of a priority to keep the store open or to like serve this yeah. catering order? But I mean, with the so. store open, they're not guaranteed they're gonna even sell that much. Yeah, I know. I know. It they this was so weird that it happened because it felt so secure yeah yeah and what like, i mean it seemed like the simplest part of the day it seemed like the easiest part I was like, and even I, yeah. I yeah i don't know i think maybe just because it's a more rural area it's a smaller store not as busy they don't typically get orders like this yeah and even know. Even when I was on the phone with the catering specialist and like mom was there, mom was like, like, we'll take it down to like 50 people. And if you can do it like 25 from one place, 25 from another. And like oh, that wow. late, like props to that lady at catering services who was trying to help us on that day. Cause we spent like over 20 minutes on the phone with her and she was calling all those different locations within 45 minute drive for us. Holy cow. And she and like trying to split up the order between places and like just no one could help with anything yeah, yeah. it's weird i, I mean that is that is like rush ball. that's like rush yeah. food time is when it was happening too which is like yeah but i mean it was still probably the best wedding food anyone's had <laughs> yeah what we ended up having anyway. chicken tenders. Rochelle was like no one was complaining chicken tenders fries get it and mom yeah. and Rochelle were on it. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. Yeah. Was, I can't it believe together. there were. I can't believe there were chicken tenders. I didn't get to that. I went too late. <laughs> and there were like wings too. <gasps> there were and... only wings left. I was like, oh, I'm not a wing girl. <laughs> and shout out to I'm Ryan. And for then driving like, around for two hours yes. trying to get everything. Poor Ryan. And just the dances. Oh, I know. All of cocktail oh. hour. Oh. Yeah. yeah, cocktail hour and a half. That poor circus, he probably felt like he was doing something so wrong. I was like, no, it's <laughs> yeah, not you. He was very upset. Oh, it just seemed like the easiest thing. <laughs> poor guy. Mm-hmm. I know, it just sucks. Everything's so spread out out there. Ugh. Yeah. And even uh, though he doesn't drink much, he did. And I was like, he's going to get a beer. And he came back and he's like, I need a beer. <laughs> yeah. Tell yeah. us. I even like when I called earlier in the week, you know, everything seemed fine. And I had even asked the lady I talked to, like, by the way, can you modify it from 65 orders to 60? Because we had, you know, fewer people coming than we originally anticipated. And she was like, oh, yeah, I'll change it on my end, blah, 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 blah. Like, I confirmed, like, you're changing it right. I, because it won't let me change it anymore. She was like, yep, I've got it. I'll change it for my. Never changed it. What the fuck are these people?
people doing all day? I know. What is customer service doing? And like, doing? I had weird <laughs> customer service calls with them like earlier, like when I was first placing the order like months ago, like just when I was asking random questions, like when I was asking like, oh, like are your forks compostable? They're like, oh, I don't know. I think they're plastic. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, well, the rest of your stuff is all compostable. This isn't a weird question. Like, yeah. <laughs> your company prides itself on the fact that it has like compostable bowls and shit. I'm asking if the forks are, and you don't know? Like, uh, and you can't look it up? Surely it's in your manual oh somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you gotta be able to find that. Oh no, I don't know. I think they're plastic. And I called twice and asked two different people. And they both said, I think they're plastic. I'm like. <laughs> These are like people who are like working from home. Like do not go to Chipotle or any sort of headquarters. <laughs> like, like, I had a roommate in college who did like customer service stuff. Like just from her room. I have no idea what it was for. But I was like, you're like a senior in college. Like what are you serving? <laughs> from your <laughs> dorm like room. It's just, like, bizarre, because, like, a company like that, I'm sure in the onboarding that they got, had a little mm-hmm. presentation about their, like, sustainability. Like, <laughs> oh, they must have. Oh, and I'm sure have. people call and ask questions about it. That's, like, a normal thing. I would hope. Anyway. The but internet anyway. knew better than just customers. like, sure. random things. And when I was trying to figure out, you know, like delivery versus pickup, I was calling them and like some people were fine and great and answered my questions and the other people seemed so clueless. And I was like, why are you working for customer service? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like one, but- one girl I called and I was like, oh, like, does this catering option come with chips? Because it had a spot where it like listed, you know, like everything that's included in it. And it didn't list chips, but there were chips in the picture. So I was like, <laughs> does this come with chips or do I have to like order them extra? And she's like, yeah, it comes with chips. Like she answered me like I was dumb. I was I was like, oh, well, your website oh. doesn't say that it comes with chips, just so you know. <laughs> Dang. It doesn't list chips. So yeah. that's why I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. Jesus. Like, and what kind of customer service is that? Oh, just be like, horrible. Yes, it sure does. <laughs> How yeah. hard is that? But no, she's like, never... yeah, it does. <laughs> was, maybe it was my roommate. She had the attitude. Maybe. <laughs> um, have oh, you yeah, heard yeah. anything? Because of, you guys put out I didn't complaint. send it yet. So you have, what? Send that. I have not had time. What? You should did, get free didn't mom link? send it? Didn't mom write? And... She sent it to me. Oh. <laughs> she said, uh, who uh, who submitted the case on that day? Was it you, Serena? No, I think it must have been the person you guys were on the phone with. I Apparently, think no, like written. someone someone wrote. This was for my wedding, and I'm screwed. <laughs> Like a that sounds like Rochelle. <laughs> or it sounds like, and that's like the little, you know, like the thing, the blurb about the case is like, I mean, it out, I'm screwed. I mean, I, feel, it, I think it Megan said that on the phone, but it said oh. it was a written complaint, and no one wrote oh. a complaint. I mean, maybe because the person on the phone didn't they say they were gonna put something like a complaint out for you maybe they just took whatever yeah. Megan said oh yeah and, like, and okay. so I got like the reply to that whatever mm-hmm. happened on the phone call and they're mm-hmm. like oh so sorry can you send me a receipt of this purchase and I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> there's no purchase that's the point that's the problem <laughs> I mean send them everything you have no I will and that I'm you... just gonna like yeah I'm gonna be like well no, I don't have proof of purchase because that's not what I'm complaining about. They wouldn't let me buy anything. Yeah, they wouldn't <laughs> let me buy the food. I should have just gone in and gotten like Literally. five bowls of chicken or five bowls of beef. I should have walked in and been like, I need 50 bowls. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I need them now. <laughs> Mom in the letter, because she called me to like help her write parts of it. She's like, I wrote that 
this it was my daughter's dream to have Chipotle at her wedding <laughs> and it was the first decision she made and that's a very big deal for her <laughs> it's not wrong it probably was the first decision I made oh my god oh my god that's so good <laughs> And then That's she so did good. put at the end too, like, I think you should give the bride and groom to put their life. I mean, yeah. That's a thing that they do. Like influencers well, get Chipotle for life cards. Yeah. Oh, at least for a year. You need free Chipotle for at least a year. Which means you get like 52 free meals. Each so you dangerous. each need 52. No. Chipotle's healthy. Oh. Free for a year, but you just get one per week basically yeah how is that free for you it should just be well, unlimited well they don't well, want that's what podium i mean that. yes <laughs> oh my god well that's what like chick-fil-a like when you camp outside of a chick-fil-a that's opening the first 100 people get chick-fil-a free for the year but really it's just you get like 52 free meals so for chipotle yeah, would, hey, that no. would it include chips in a drink i'm sure a walk oh oh no, you probably have to pay extra for Brock. Sorry. <laughs> probably just the base bill. I think Tori doesn't like it. Yeah, I was like, does Tori even like that? <laughs> but some queso would be delicious. Although their queso kind of sucks. But that's why you, I Your usually put the queso slow. on my bowl instead of cheese and mm-hmm. sour cream. Because mm-hmm. it just makes it a blend up. Mm-hmm. Which, like, cheese and sour cream combined is basically queso. Exactly. So they shouldn't. But it's warm for it. versus <laughs> the cold sour cream and cold cheese makes the whole bowl cold. But yeah. you put queso, then it's warm. Yeah, it's okay. We're just gonna eat at Cadoba and Cafe Rio <laughs> and Mo's. all of the Mo's. <laughs> I got I got Mo's catering once for probably sixty people, and it was fine. Ah. <laughs> it worked great. I've gotten well, there I don't know what... a few times. Every time I've gone to Moe's in the last, like, at least three years, it's been bad. It's um, hit a downfall for sure. It well, used to be peak. It used to be so good. We went every Monday. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my every God. Monday used to do. To... Or it's so good. And it's now. So good. Well, Barbaritos is bad. Flaps. Too bad oh, they don't have that locations. Like tofu, well, best tofu, Atlanta, best right? Tofu. Well, where I live, there's and like in Western states, there's Cafe Rio. I love Cafe Rio. They're they have questionable tactics, but they <laughs> like make their tortillas in house, and they are fantastic. There's also Willie's. What oh, Willie's? I think that's also Atlanta. Oh. Or like North Georgia. Barbaritos mm, is Atlanta. only North Georgia. And I think mm-hmm. Willie's is. Yeah. I think the furthest south of Barbaritos is like Macon. Yeah. I like to every now and then when I drive to and from Orlando, I stop at that Barbaritos. <laughs> <laughs> we wrap things up. I just came from the yes. gym and I need to start it. I'm so close to doing a pull up. But like, not like this. Like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this, easy. <laughs> this, no. It's hard. My body doesn't move like that. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> but like this, no. Are problem. you putting your head forward? Put your head back. I tr- I am, but then I'm basically doing like, you know. <laughs> then I'm basically like, I feel more comfortable no, with palms facing me too. Yeah. Well, it's an assisted. It's easier. Who cares? She could do a pull up. <laughs> <laughs> so close. So close. And then I can get a reward that I have on my dream board or whatever it's called. <laughs> I had one of the podcasts I listened to, the woman bought like a bottle of champagne for each of her goals for the year. <laughs> so when she reaches the goal, she pops a bottle of champagne, even though oh. she doesn't like champagne. <laughs> I did that probably... when I was like starting my business. I had like for every like like when I got five patients and when I got ten patients and when I got like I had like different things written out. I was like a book, a pair of jeans, 
Like, oh, that's so fun. Like that. Go out to dinner. Oh, yeah. it was fun. I think and I reached all of them. Oh, I think I'm gonna get my my second hole in my ears, or I guess Maybe. third technically. Um, because you know, there's the main one, the natural one. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I worry that like do you I'll, put like, things in there yeah my earbuds and my q-tips yeah. sorry I use q-tips <laughs> but I'm not sorry I use q-tips um <laughs> but I worry that like I'll be able to do a pull-up and then I'll go and try again like a few days later and I won't be able to do it and I'll have my ears pierced because you be pierce like, your ears <laughs> No, no, I worry I won't be able to do it because, like, I just won't have the same amount of energy or something. And I'll be like, no, oh, Because no. you pierce your ears? <laughs> no, just, like, in general. Well, then like, maybe you know, wait you know, till you do at least one, like, three weeks in a row or something. Okay, make sure it's solid. Or, like, hit two in a week. Mm. Well, I mean, I do it every time I go to the gym. So, anyway. Anyway, that's off topic. But... <laughs> all together it was a great time it was super fun very like casual like I was never worried about like things not being formal or perfect or whatever like it was very fun it was very DIY but like fun DIY like I just got to play with flowers for 24 hours basically (laughs) and we pulled off I think we pulled off not like tacky DIY too or not like uh, super obvious like DIY Mm -hmm. like I think it looked put together yeah like the book page table runners gorgeous (gasps) so good our our matching pjs super comfy (laughs) oh yeah the matching pjs we all got little gifts it was so cute (laughs) and Tori was like maybe I should wait to give it to everyone in the morning and I was like no I want it now (laughs) No, I wouldn't know. No, it, it worked out better because then people could get dressed whenever. Having liquid IV there was mm-hmm. smart. <laughs> and I didn't but... give to you guys, but I gave everyone else like bottles of water because I was like, we're camping. I don't want anyone mm. to be like, oh, I don't feel like going to get water. I'm already in my cabin, you know? And it's yeah, 40 degrees. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was probably a little cold for the outdoor campers, but everyone was good sports. Everyone was good really sports. just the first night. The second night was a lot better. Like it still got chilly, but it wasn't like didn't like pass yeah. that threshold like the first night was like Yeah. Ooh. And like I mean, a lot of people were also drunk, so they probably just went to sleep, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Not as big a deal that night. Yeah. Well that second but... night Ryan also went to get like a heating pad at Target during the day. <laughs> so we were comfy (laughs) all together great time very fun let's do it again round two in five years five years that's reasonable we'll do it again like a whole wedding or just we can all go to to camp (laughs) yeah that's what i mean just like the bridal party yeah yeah can go (laughs) well hopefully well, we can just go somewhere else and do it like every year, every other year. And we'll get Chipotle for dinner. <laughs> and nothing but. Oh my God, no. <laughs> we'll get pizza for dinner. Or we could just hang out in like Disney World or whatever. But reunite everyone. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was fun. <laughs> and maybe like there'll be babies in tow for some people. Oh, no, no babies allowed. Uh <laughs> that role still stands you don't want to hold megan or Michelle's kid whoever were kids at that point who knows i don't want to hold anyone what <laughs> what they like stay with the hair oh or no you're not gonna home. hold your niece or nephew Do you yeah want to hold them? <laughs> that's right that's right that's the plan you're gonna want I mean, to. like, I will. I, I have you ever held like, a baby? I have no idea. I don't think you have. <laughs> Jillian, maybe I held Jillian when she was a baby. Probably, but like, probably That's... like, held. 
like sitting in a chair with a pillow under your arm mom yeah. Right next to you. oh yeah that's probably right oh my god I like babysat I, no I, I like never babysat a baby no no I like babysat a baby for a little bit but it was like I was like I'm not qualified to babysit a baby and then they stopped reaching out to me <laughs> I was also 15 and it was like my like not great phase so uh, whatever <laughs> so like your first time picking up a baby you're babysitting alone <laughs> yeah I was like why well mom got me like the job and she told the because it was like someone she knew in the neighborhood and was like oh like my daughter Serena can do it not realizing that I had never held a baby <laughs> but I won't or, change the diaper or anything like like, I knew some things because of Scooter, which was this little kid my mom used to, like, watch every day, but... Nickname. So, like, I knew, like, how to bottle feed him, like, without, <laughs> like, killing him, or, like, that I had to heat it up, and, like, I watched TV, but, like, I was, like... And she, like, taught me, like, some things to do, but I... Like, to put him to bed, I don't know to I... how to swaddle. Like I, I mean, I haven't, like... I, I learned how to swaddle and, like, change a diaper in home ec in seventh grade. Really? What? Jeez. Really? Yeah. That's I don't weird. think I was that good at swaddling. I, actually, I, I can't remember learning good. swaddling. Maybe it was home ec. Uh, yeah, we had those crying weird. babies that we didn't have to take them home. Just so weird. That was weird. That was a weird job. I hated it. You know what else? <laughs> yeah, I just was like, this is... So maybe that's why you don't want to hold kids because you associate with this like anxiety ridden babysitting <laughs> experience but if yes. you're just holding your little niece or nephew and they're all sweet and you, all you have to do is hold them no responsibility yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well my backup plan is to be like my backup backup plan is to be your nanny oh okay yeah i like that what plan. if that's my backup backup plan hey oh, move on no, to you're, time. you're older <laughs> You it might to, like be so the world. Up plan. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> All right, no, Trina, I'll let you have. Home. Trina, I'll let you have first dibs. Okay. <laughs> Every Sophia's time, probably no, no. Sophia is <laughs> probably more qualified than both McKenna or myself. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet. Probably. Hey, yeah, I've had a baby home. recently. I'm like every time Sophia comes and we go to Disney or something, like it gets brought up like we'll have kids there one day and we're like yep that's why we're gonna bring you <laughs> <laughs> yep that's why you get to come we'll go on all the rides and you'll hold the baby because you love them because <laughs> <laughs> you love them and you never get to see them <laughs> yeah <laughs> why don't you want to spend all your time with them <laughs> <laughs> you can hold them on you can still go on like mickey and minnie's or no you're rolling and frozen <laughs> ever after no, you gotta Holding do like the, the kids baby. swap. Mickey you and Minnie. Kids swap. I don't know. Not Mickey and Minnie is very like jerky. But babies go on it. I guess once they have head control. <laughs> I wouldn't take them on before they have head control. I wouldn't take them to the park before they have head control. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> it's always baffles me when I pass like a really fresh one, like mid Disney World, and I'm like, you brought that here? When do they <laughs> have head Literally. Control? I'm like, this is the germiest place on earth. Why do you have, like, three-day-old <laughs> child here? The germiest place on earth? I want that shirt. <laughs> hey, hey. It's true, though. They're building like, that child's microbiome nice and strong. Wow. <laughs> it's not vaccinated yet, though. So <laughs> it's not the oh. time. So. <laughs> oh, God. They're not like, you don't know. They're, like, three months old. When do they get head control? Six months. I want when I was three five to six months. Months. <laughs> months three until they to can six months. Their head. Okay. Well, six months is when they can like sit up and like hold their head. Oh. Okay. Oh. Like and they can sit up on their own, right? Mm -hmm. Like they won't just like oh. topple. So, three like, months is probably when you can story, hold right? them and they can kind of like hold their head up while you're holding mm -hmm. them. Like turtle it, like kind of. Like yeah. Or, like, they can do tummy time and, like, lift their head up, you know, instead of just time. being, like, tummy time and they're, like, eh. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what they are until that point. They just, like, eh. <laughs> tummy they time. They hate it. Do you just, like, hold up their head for them, like, when they're laying down and yeah, get, build can. that muscle? 
spell it. Or you're like, give them a, you give them like a massage chair type little thing to lay on. So their head just through a hole. And then they ne- are like, I never have to learn how to hold up my head. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point it. of tummy time. Oh, to get them to lift up their head. To strengthen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tummy time. <laughs> And Even also to prevent feet. them from getting a flat head on the back from laying down all the time. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, they're like, you can tell kids who are on their back too much because their head is flatter on them. <laughs> That's going to be my new insult. Like, you got flat head. Your you mom never, never gave t- you tummy tuck. <laughs> you must have hated tummy tuck. <laughs> The flip bit. <laughs> flip bit. Uh, I'm gonna file that. <laughs> file that away. File that away for just the right right moment. <laughs> you cannot say that to me. Well, no, I don't. I'm think pretty I rounded was. back there. <laughs> yeah. Your mama Too never rounded. held you. <laughs> <laughs> you never had tummy time. <laughs> That flat ass head, you never had done right. that. If their head is really round, it could also mean that they were a baby that didn't let anyone put them down. Oh. <laughs> that's, you know, like, if they got laid down, they would cry or something. Oh. Always had to be being held. Oh. <laughs> but it's, this is a very loose science. <laughs> <laughs> that head must have laid down on their, their back too much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the flatness that is a real thing, but the round being mm. granny reason is not necessarily. Mm. But you'll love your niece or nephew, I'm sure. Yeah. You'll it'll just be old. so it'll be so weird. <laughs> I know. I know, girl. It'll just be like a mini Tori Kevin mashup. Oh god, a mini Tori. <laughs> oh no. Imagine Tori's eyes looking up at you, but it's like from a oh, that's that's like the hunger. It's like the Hunger Games. That's a horror movie. The butts. The yes, butts. The butts. <laughs> they all have the past tribute's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and like their hair color yeah. too. <laughs> My eyes. <sighs> Kevin's nose. Oh God. Oh, God. Kevin, uh, baby smile. Ooh. Dad smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Mom's just wide eyes, like. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like that picture of dad looking at the car <laughs> and <I> got... <laughs> well thank you for listening to our wedding recap episode hopefully you have some guidance now if you're looking for some do's or don'ts and yeah we'll catch you next time Yay. Yeah, next time will be our 50th episode. Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to this week's Long Distance Sisters. Be sure to subscribe for more episodes and leave a good review. And check out the video version on our YouTube channel. You can find all of our other social media information in the description. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.